What's up, what to play? Ernest here. Today we're gonna talk about the 25 best Xbox One games from 2016 up to this day in 2018. Also, don't forget, if you want more info about these games, you can check out our website at whattoplay.com, linked right here in the description box below. The Play Score is a standard rating that averages gamer and critic reviews. Opening our list is Life is Strange Before the Storm. Before there was Max and Chloe, there was Chloe and Rachel. Deck Knight's take on the Life is Strange universe brings you closer to everyone's favorite blue-haired princess. Follow Chloe Price in her salad days as she overcomes the death of her father. Engage in meaningful interactions with new and old characters from Oregon and use Chloe's backtalk ability to make things easier. Or harder. It receives a play score of 8.66. Number 24 is Gears of War 4. Marcus Phoenix and France go to their roots. It's the first of the series to pay tribute to Epic Games, considering it's not developed by them. 25 years after the events of the original trilogy, Marcus Phoenix makes a return to the fray. Now aged and wise, he takes the role of mentor to his son as they fight against a new threat. Its cover-based shooting makes everything better from beginning to end. It has a play score of 8.66. Number 23 is Rocket League. Psyonic's insane mix of vehicular action and good old football mechanics is making so much waves right now. Now with an active esports community, Rocket League is turning to be one of their best multiplayer games yet. Enter the massive arenas and become your own kind of superstar with your customized monster engines. Battle for supremacy as you and your team drive your supercars from one corner to the next in a struggle to goal with their gigantic balls. It has a play score of 8.67. Number 22 is Ori and the Blind Forest Definitive Edition. Microsoft's definitive edition of their mesmerizing platformer masterpiece. Save the forest of Nibel from being corrupted by mysterious darkness. Play Ori, a guardian spirit of the forest, as they dash their way through meticulously crafted art styles. In this Metroidvania experience, unlock new abilities along the way and master the art of slingshotting with style. It receives a play score of 8.69. Number 21 is Resident Evil 7 by a Hazard. One of E3-2018's biggest surprises was the remake of Resident Evil 2. It was beautiful, it was everything we wanted. But before that, it all started with this grand return of the series. 7 is their biggest entry yet and it features new characters, new first-person perspective, new locations, and new monster types. It's a bold risk from Capcom as it opened new doors for the future of the series and also a new game engine. It receives a play score of 8.69. Number 20 is Assassin's Creed Origins. Before Odyssey hits the shelves this October, there is Origins, considered as the biggest Assassin's Creed game ever. Set in ancient Egypt, followed by Yek in his quest to uncover a political conspiracy that could shake the world. With improved stealth experience and a more RPG-like approach, it's definitely one of the best AC games since Black Flag. It has a play score of 8.72. Number 19 is Battlefield 1. Before we play the imminent political correctness of Battlefield 5, experience World War 1 at its peak and step into warplanes, zeppelins, trenches, tanks, and more. Follow through six different chapters in various character perspectives. With an improved multiplayer mode, gather your squad and set the battlefield ablaze in its various modes. Conquest, Domination, Rush, and more. Critics love the game for its intense action experience, making you feel like you're in the middle of a war zone. It has a play score of 8.72. Number 18 is Bastion, Supergiant Games' first award-winning indie game. After waking up from a desolate world, play as an unnamed protagonist and help rebuild this world with the help of an omniscient narrator. Engage in fast-paced top-down combat unlike any other indie games out there, and recover from the calamity. It has a play score of 8.74. Number 17 is Forza Motorsport 7. The latest Forza Motorsport game showcases the power of the Xbox One X. Turn 10 Studios claims it's one of the most beautiful Forza games to date, making use of advanced graphical techniques to improve ambient occlusions, lighting, and shaders. Choose from over 700 different cars, including the mouth-watering Porsche Cover Star. Tweak it into its most optimized performance and brave the dynamic weather system. It has a play score of 8.75. Number 16 is Titanfall 2. 
Listen to the sound of clanking metal in the second entry to Respawn Entertainment's sci-fi military shooter. They pulled out all the stops to the sequel, creating an explosive return for their colossal franchise. It marks the introduction of a host of new gameplay elements and an arsenal of destructive new weapons. Slide around with your refined parkour skills and tinker with hollow pilots, pulse blades, grappling hooks, and so much more. It receives a play score of 8.76. Number 15 is Injustice 2. Imagine your favorite DC characters punching each other's faces. But that's one of the things you could do in this latest installment to NetherRealm's latest fighting game. A sequel to the original Injustice, meet the cast and characters of the DC Universe, both good and bad, in a superhero power play that could change the fate of the world. It has a play score of 8.77. Number 14 is The Evil Within 2. Sebastian Castellanos returns in another nightmare-inducing experience in Shinji Mikami's sequel to the scariest psychological horror games four years ago. Explore bigger seas and encounter disturbingly designed monsters crafted by Japanese minds. Save your daughter Lily from otherworldly threats and make it out alive in The Evil Within. It has a play score of 8.77. Number 13 is Thimbleweed Park, a neo-noir mystery set in 1987. From the creators of Monkey Island and Maniac Mansion, they give you a game loaded with questions, questions, and more questions. With its pixel visuals, immerse yourself into the strangest nights in your life. Point and click your way to solve the mysteries that lie deep beneath the park and uncover the truth behind every suspicious mess. It has a play score of 8.80. Number 12 is Dark Souls 3. The Dark Souls of Dark Souls games, a crowning jewel in video game design and the source of everyone's frustrations. Step inside a dark world filled with demonic creatures determined to kill you. This third and final entry of the Souls series once again offers a variety of insane boss fights that range from epic to holy shit. Get good because this game has a play score of 8.81. Number 11 is Pit People fast-paced, turn-based co-op adventure game from The Behemoth. Turn your comedic charms into strategic maneuvers in a wild mix of fighting and exploration. Engage in a fun single-player story mode with a friend or alone. It features a realistic death mode where your characters remain dead in story mode. It's a high-risk, high-reward experience and it receives a play score of 8.82. Number 10 is Cuphead. Studio MDHR's masterpiece is a fine mix of run-and-gun platforming and Souls-like bullet-hell boss battles. That's a lot of genre to take in, but this gem took so many awards with it due to its high-quality hand-drawn visuals, responsive gameplay, and passionate developers. Just recently, the studio announced a huge DLC coming that adds new bosses and a new map. It has a play score of 8.82. Number 9 is Dishonored 2. Arcane Studios' sequel to the dark and gritty stealth action adventure game holds no limits. Set years after the first game, Corvo and the now Princess Emily are taken over by a mysterious usurper. For the first time in the series, control either one of these protagonists in an effort to quell the evil threat. Use their unique stealth and supernatural abilities and decide whether you want to go guns blazing, pacifistic, or neutral. It's one of the finest stealth games ever made with a play score of 8.83. Number 8 is Shantae, half-genie hero. Follow Shantae and her friends as she saves her town from a mysterious dark magic in WayForward's popular character. Use your damage-dealing hair to whip enemies back and forth and solve environmental puzzles by transforming into different animals. It's the first to ever showcase high-definition visuals and smooth gameplay design. Enjoy its unique levels while listening to the game's groovy tunes all on the Xbox One. It receives a play score of 8.84. Number 7 is Celeste, an indie adventure platformer from the creators of Towerfall. Help Madeline survive her inner demons and reach the top of Celeste Mountain. A mix between hardcore platforming and Metroidvania, use Madeline's wide variety of parkour skills to jump and slide from different platforms. Make it through hundreds of handcrafted challenges and control your frustrations with the game's brutal yet worth it level design and literal difficulty spikes. It has a play score of 8.84. Number 6 is Okami HD, Capcom's beloved classic rock the PlayStation 2 way back 2006. Save the glorious land of Nippon from the corruption of Orochi. Play as Amaterasu in the form of a badass wolf. Use your magical paintbrush to wipe away the evils of the land. Recreate them with beauty and splendor because this game has a play score of 8.86. Number 5 is Hellblade, Sinua's Sacrifice. Dive deep into the Celtic underworld and help the ailing protagonist, Sinwa, in her personal journey through the land of the Northern. Search for answers in her personal psychotic break. 
encounter strange creatures determined to stop you from your path. Engage in a flurry of hack and slash action with impressive sound design and haunting visuals. It has a play score of 8.93. Number 4 is Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. Engage yourself in energetic skirmishes in this 3D arena fighter, similar to its previous installments. Set in the 4th Shinobi World War, explore a series of linear storylines and uncover the mystery behind the dark crevices of the ninja world. There are a ton of new changes to this game, including elemental damage, removal of combat styles, and the addition of character swapping. It receives a play score of 8.97. Number 3 is Forza Horizon 3. Microsoft's frontrunner to the racing scene gets to shine with bright lights in this third installment of the Horizon franchise. It's also the ninth entry to the overall Forza series. Set in the beautiful Australian region, enjoy its attention to detail in a lush open-world environment. Its world is twice the size of its previous installment, and it features over 350 cars. It has a play score of 8.98. Number 2 is Sonic Mania. Sega's famous Blue Hedgehog zips back to this classic 2D form in their latest Sonic entry. Join him and his friends as they dash around remastered pixel stages accompanied with new surprises hidden in every turn. Stop the evil Dr. Eggman from unleashing his evil. It has a play score of 9.09. .09. And the best Xbox One game so far is none other than Inside. From the creators of Limbo, Play Dead's hypnotizing puzzle game is littered with atmospheric design and minimalist features. Similar to Limbo, go on a side-scrolling quest and solve complex puzzles along the way. Story remains a mystery for first-timers and don't even get me started on that ending. It's a hauntingly beautiful adventure set in a dystopian future. It receives a play score of 9.47. So what do you think of this list? Did we get all your favorite Xbox One games in here? If so, leave a comment, let's discuss whatever you want. Also, if you want more details, you can always check out our website at whattoplay.com, linked right here in this little description box below. And you can get some of these games and support this channel at the same time by using the links once again living here in this tiny description box. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and subscribe. And of course, don't forget that little notification bell so you can check out all our latest gaming updates and live streams. See ya.